Okay, so we are in a brand new, what is it, tower studio room at Riviera Resort. I'm currently starting in the bathroom because we're doing media tours and some of my friends are outside in the living room area. So it's a very small, it's very tiny home-like. Um, so this is the bathroom. And the bathroom is just about as big as the living area, quite honestly. And you can see the step-in shower over there. Uh, we've got some closets behind me, and I will show you what's in there. Uh, very DVC-like. It has a waste basket, safe, um, steam iron. So this is the closet. And let's see. Let me show you into the room itself. So we are in the room and this is literally it. Uh, this is a bed that pulls down and I will show you what that looks like in a minute. But we have a microwave, they have a kitchen area. Then there is a refrigerator. Um, they have water set up for the media event, but this is the TV and literally, I mean, it is like a tiny home and this is a Murphy bed that comes down. Over here, we have a desk area with a little bit of storage on top. And then looking out, this particular one, I think this is 8222, I'll have to confirm. But this is the view, there are Skyliners uh, right there. And then you have the patio out there. And turning around again, this is the bathroom area and I'll give you another heads up about what this looks like. So it's extremely spacious. If you're worried about lack of space, that is not an issue. And with a big step-in shower and sink or um, seat and whatnot. So yeah. All right, and this is with the bed folded down. And cute little Neverland. The Riviera Resort is on the Skyliner line. So this is what the entrance to the Skyliner area is gonna look like. It's a very short walk from the resort to the Skyliner. And another media visit of the Grand Villas. This is room 8406 on the fourth floor. And what you're looking at right now is the living room area, which is perfect for entertaining all of your guests. This is the bathroom with the soaking tub. And obviously it is huge. This is about as big as that tower studio that we just looked in. And double sinks. You've got, look at this shower. Look at this massive, massive shower. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like stepping in it. And <laughs> This is a crazy big shower. And then you have the toilet room. <laughs> Mickey. Okay, so this is a bedroom. Um, it is a absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. Tons of storage underneath. And big closet over here leads into that bathroom. You have the cheese lounge. Look at this view over here of the pool area. And I'm gonna put the room number below and let you know exactly what villa this is. But overlooks the water, it's absolutely gorgeous. Turning around and there is a um, patio out there with Skyliner view that you can see. I was just gonna do the, I wanna wrap it up with the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. You can see the Skyliner over there. And look at the view. <laughs> this is massive. Actual dishwasher here. We got it set up for media interviews. It's a huge eating area. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. And then we have the living room area as well that you can see. 
huge. You could do a lot of entertaining here. Big screen TV. And then let me take you in to the other bedrooms and bathroom. The artwork is amazing in here. All right, so walking down the hall, we got a pocket door, which I'm not a fan of pocket doors and bathrooms, but whatever. So this is a cute, cute little bathroom. It's actually a full bath. Not nearly as big as the master, obviously, but very well appointed, very big. I honestly just don't understand the need for pocket doors in the bathroom though. But let's look into this bedroom. Also amazing, fits four more people. Look at the artwork up there, that's fabulous. And then tons of space. I love the Mickey details in the ironwork. Look at that, overlooking the Skyliner up there to the right, the lake. You have a massive porch. So the master had its own separate porch and then this is kind of like a much bigger porch overlooking the same views. And you can see up there, Skyliner, awesome. Okay, so turning around and seeing this bedroom again. Again, this is the bathroom out there, full length mirror there. And let's go and see the other bedrooms. What we have here is another entrance, little alcove, and then a, another bedroom that looks just the same. Um, a little bit different decor. And you can see there is a patio out there. This decor is just a little bit more heavy. And walking in to a bit of a bigger bathroom with the one sink and a walk-in shower with seats. Again, not as big as that master, but this is like a step up from that other one. So this might be, I don't know, like this is for the parents and the grandparents get the master and then the kids get the small one. That's probably how it was thought out. So even artwork in the bathroom. And so yeah, so this is the third bedroom of all of them. All right, so this is the Skyliner station. Um, literally, okay, give you perspective. This is the patio, and then turn it around and boom, Skyliner station right there. And so you could sit on your patio and watch the Skyliner like all day long if you wanted to. I mean, it's actually really pretty. It would be really cool to have a drink out here. <laughs> sitting on a lake. The views ain't too shabby, people. Very nice. Yeah, and then the pool area is over there. This is the entrance of Topolino's. This is the signature restaurant at the resort with character dining in the morning and elevated dining at night. Hey, this is Topolino's. This is for character breakfast. You can see Mickey Mouse over there. And this is unusual, but they sell plush here in the restaurant. So you take home a character souvenir. And there's Mickey and Daisy. So sweet. Our poet in residence, Minnie Mouse. hallway are some images of Walt Disney that was when he was in the Riviera. So it kind of really gives a setting of like what he would have seen. And there's some more over here. So there's Walt and Lily. Lillian. How adorable. Yeah, these photos are awesome. 
And right off the lobby, you're going to find Voyager's Lounge, which is considered the resort's business center. Right next door is going to be a cafe with pastries and coffees. We do have more Disney videos coming, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything.